to a powerful South African tribe that is now Botswana causes an international stir when in 1948, he marries a white woman from London in an apartheid era world. Selma's David Oyelowo and Gone Girl's Rosamund Pike star in A United Kingdom, a most extraordinary true love story. What's this song supposed to be? I don't know, but they are utterly butchering it. <laughs> Sorry, I do love jazz, but I've never trusted an Englishman to play it. <laughs> do you like to dance? Father will hate him on sight. He's cleverer than him, and he's black. And I would hate to walk away from you, knowing that I wouldn't see you again. Well, then you must. I won't see me again. Are you insane? White, British, and what about your people? This is one of those stories, a true story, that so many people don't know about. Right. Did you know anything about this? I, I didn't, uh, to my shame and shock, when I first happened upon the book about six, seven years ago. But it's one of those stories, as we've seen with people who've seen the, the film, once you've seen it, you just cannot believe you didn't know about them because it's such an epic story in scope and, and lends itself so beautifully to a cinematic telling of it. So, you know, that's one of the privileges of, of getting to do this is the fact that people feel like they should know it and now they can. My grandfather was a king. I am his heir. I have a responsibility to return home to my people. I will never achieve anything worthwhile if I leave my heart here. If you choose to marry the leader of an African nation, you will be responsible for the downfall of the British Empire in Africa. You choose a life of insults and shame. I know what you're asking, what it means. And yes, I will marry you. Over two decades of preparing you to be our king, this is how you face me. My home, our home. Who do you think will accept you? As if it were your right to be our queen. You will rely on any right to the throne. You said epic in scope, and yet it's really a simple love story, isn't it? I mean, would you describe it as that? I mean, I was drawn to it first and foremost because of the love story, and obviously there's a huge political backdrop because when Tsuretsi Karma met Ruth Williams, they found that in falling in love, they kind of committed a political act of treason because they brought the might of the British government down on their own heads, who did all they could to try and separate them. And I think it's the, it's the fact that through love you can sometimes be forced to, I mean, not you know, rarely, but you can be forced to conduct that love on a public stage if you have to fight for it. This could make your country ungovernable. We have concluded you should be exiled for life. I can't do this alone anymore. Find your way back to me, Zaretsky. Find your way back. The whole world is watching. She's stronger than either of us suspected. She is a woman who is loved. I am ready to serve you because I love my people. I love this land. But I love my wife. A footnote to this story, the current president of Botswana is the democratically elected son of this amazing couple. Look for a united kingdom in your power zone.